Welcome back to the Love of Dubai show. With us now is one of the most popular, recognizable, and entertaining YouTubers in Dubai. He has 11 million subscribers on YouTube, nearly 4.5 million on the gram, and he's a brand new series where he's trading one dollar to one of the most expensive items known to man. Welcome to the show, Mo Vlogs. Good morning, guys. It's 8:30 a.m. Just woke up. Good are we doing morning. An yes, we are. <laughs> Perky, are you an early morning person? No, I, I hate mornings. I, no, I, I mean, I love mornings technically, but I just can't wake up. <laughs> How do you know you love them? Uh, I don't know. I like, I like seeing the sun, you know, like I just wake <laughs> up, wow, you know. I really don't leave the house much. Oh. Really? Yeah. Um, I mean, your gram vlogs say otherwise, but maybe... Yeah, like I leave when I want to film, but like the rest of the time, I'm like inside. How yeah. much time are you like, do, do you edit? Um... I just I don't really edit too much like now I have an editor but like obviously I touch it up I used to, I used to edit all my videos for like four years mm-hmm. but nowadays not too much but I'm always just on the computer. So tell us your story now we want to know how you got started why did you get started with cars was that always something you wanted to get into like st- start from the uh, beginning. I actually yeah. used to love gaming. I was like a gaming nerd, like long hair. Like if you guys see the pictures, you wouldn't even believe it's me, you know? Like, just I like want to see the pictures. <laughs> I mean, I don't have my phone with me, but like literally like gaming nerd, like you just sat like nine hours a day used to play it. And then um, I did YouTube back then and no one really watched me. You know, I had like two viewers or like it was really bad. And then when I started traveling, there used to be like a couple that used to vlog. It was like boyfriend versus girlfriend. I used to love their videos, you know? So I was like, let me try this vlogging thing. So when we moved to Dubai and I started vlogging, people just started watching it. And then I think we joined a couple car events. So really, like the plan wasn't just to do car videos, but I went to one car event. Everyone was like, oh my God, this is crazy. There's so many nice cars in Dubai. And then from there, I just kept doing the car videos and I was like, well, people liked it, so. And it's like, it's blown up. Like you are the yeah. most, you, what's crazy is that you are one of the most res- uh, respected, recognizable YouTubers you. in the region, but you said you don't like to leave the house. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm just such a house person. Like, I don't know. Like, I leave the film, but like, I'd rather be at home, you know? So Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I, I just love the comfort of my house. Like, I just love doing everything at home. Like, home. But obviously, yeah, I do leave quite a bit, you know? When so. you have a crib like yours, I get it. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be <laughs> No, no. no. Um, yeah, I'm just, I just like my comfort. I have like a small friend group, my family, and that's it. So I just like to spend time with them. I just kind of like really want to know everything about you because I just feel like <laughs> it's that weird. But I feel like we see mm-hmm. the YouTube videos you create. We see these crazy titles. We see these crazy cars. But like, do you cook? <laughs> no, um, no, no, no. Oh, the right question. I, I need to learn to cook definitely, but no, I can't cook. I'm actually really talentless. Are you good at cleaning? I, I can't clean. I oh. can't cook. I'm very messy. I'm not organized. I just... Ooh. But, but <laughs> no, Thomas, no, no. that is one of the matrimonial You ad. were one of the first people to consistently, you were like one video a day for how long? Like you were yeah. like YouTube, like that's not, that's like consistent. That's what everyone says to be in the games that you need to do. So yeah, I, I think I have, a, yeah, I have a good work rate. Like I definitely love working. That's the one thing I've realized. Like I love working. I don't know what, like what I actually am passionate about, but I just like doing something, you know? So Um, yeah, I think when I started, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to do a video every single day. So that was like my target. Um, so when I start something, I really do commit to it, especially if that's what I want to do. Yeah, your followers are absolutely, absolutely in awe of you. You know, always working, hustling, going, moving from one project to the other. Yeah. But you're not very shy of showing your, like initially showing your family on camera. Like yeah. you brought on your sister, your mom. So why didn't you have that kind of like, oh no, I want to protect them from the camera, like the public? I mean, they love it. Uh, they, they love being on camera. My mom has a TikTok now too. Uh, oh, yeah. She almost has a million followers. <laughs> so... <laughs> Shout out to Honestly, she's even here with me. She's like, I want to see how you do this interview. So next time when I'm on the interview, I do it. I'm like, all right, yeah. mommy. <laughs> so no, honestly, they love it. So um, that's the situation. You know, everyone always asks me, you put your family on camera. They love it, you know. So it's not like I'm like, hey, be on camera. They're like, hey, what's up? You know, it's yeah. like a family. So um, yeah. Who is your like favorite person to collaborate with? Is it your is it mom, sister? Is it YouTubers? Uh, Specific. Favorite person to collaborate with? No, it definitely has to be my family. Like I record with them every day. I mean, I'm, I'm such a um, yeah family type of person. Obviously, I have like a great group of friends that we always record with, but I don't want to say one name because then I'm like, oh, I'm the favorite, and like nine other people get upset. But no, honestly, I have such a good group of friends that um, yeah, we do our thing. Cool. 
Okay, so many, many projects you have. <coughs> we have so many questions for you, like such yeah. a mystery to us. So you have various projects. Yeah. And how do you, like, do you sit down, brainstorm ideas? How do you come up with your I have pick? a notebook, you know, like I have one little notebook at home. And I just write down every idea, like, and then I have like a list, like, okay, this is a better idea. And then from there, I just like start doing the ideas, you okay. know. Okay, so you write down traditionally, like yeah. a traditional way of brainstorming. I need a notebook and a pen. Like, that's the oh, only gee. way. Like, I, I tried the whole notes thing. I'm like... Then I have like 50 different notes on it. I just don't, you know, it starts yeah. getting confusing. Mm. What's been like your craziest piece of content in your opinion? Because like crazy. every single video is just bang, bang, bang. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, mm, there's so much. I've been doing this for like six years. I don't know. Do you guys know I have an Arabic channel? No. You speak wow. Arabic? Wow. <laughs> I didn't even wow. know. Tell the world. Oh my Arabic. God. It's not our, it's Guys, not you our... see, they didn't do their research. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, Yeah, no, I have an Arabic channel recently. Um, the videos I do there nowadays are pretty crazy. Um, recently, I did a video like Lost to Break the Safe Winds. And then like we made literally like a huge safe. Like it was like a, a literally a bank size safe. And then we crashed the car through it. So that was cool. How about, uh, safety? <laughs> uh, safety, we had a helmet. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we had a helmet. That's good we, had, we had a fire extinguisher. Oh, okay. Stuff like that. Uh, but it, yeah, that was, a, that was a crazy video. Do people ever, if you're making these like crazy videos, do people mimic? And then are you concerned if you ever make something that is particularly crazy that involves like lots of water, lots of balls, whatever mm-hmm. you guys throw in there, yeah. are you nervous that you could have mimics that it wouldn't be as safe? Uh, What? Sorry. Huh? <laughs> What? Do you ever get like? Is there people? Do people mimic your content? Mimic? And if so, are you concerned about safety ever? Uh, not really. Honestly, like being completely honest, I'm probably quite hated in a lot of senses. You know, I mm. think a lot of people do hate on me for different reasons. Um, one is obviously like a lot of my content is about money. Mm. You know, so naturally you're gonna get people like, oh my god, this guy all he cares about is money. Yeah, yeah. Or and honestly, like. So many people meet me in my life, they're like, yo, you're not like, you're not a douchebag. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, I like cars, everyone does, you know, but I'm not gonna meet someone and say, oh my God, look at me, I have this or that. I don't, you know? Yeah. I say we're all humans, we all sleep on the same bed, we all eat the same food. It doesn't matter if I have a Bugatti or a Lamborghini. Yeah. I like cars, I film them, but my life isn't revolved around, hey, I wanna be like richer than you, or I'm the best, or I'm, you know, I'm the same human being you are. It's just, This is yeah. what I do. So it's all for the content. And of course, people love to hate. We know that. Yeah. Um, but everyone do. secretly, not even secretly, wants to be rich. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, who, who doesn't like money? Like, money solves a lot of your problems. Like, if I had $100 million dollars today, I could just sit, enjoy time with my family, not stress. No healthcare concerns. Exactly, mm. you know. <laughs> Oh my God, yes, my dental bills. <laughs> <laughs> so the quote, uh, money doesn't buy happiness, your take on that? Look, I definitely say um, money doesn't buy happiness. Um, mm. I think I'm, I was a lot more happier when I had a lot less money. Uh, but there is good things that come with money. You know, you don't stress about your bills. Mm. You don't stress about a lot of things. Uh, but no, money doesn't make you happy. I feel like the main thing is your family, your friends, I guess, stuff like that. You know, the people around you that kind of make you happy. So I think the good thing is when you have money, you get to at least, you know, take them out, spoil them, Love stuff that. like that. But yeah. Does um, the number of followers that you have, uh, how does it feel to have that many people who like comment on your stuff all the time and they have an opinion about you? Is Honestly, in terms of comments, I don't really, I don't really look too much at my comments. Um, obviously, there's so many comments. You know, before when I started, obviously it was a lot easier to like kind of see everything. But nowadays, especially comments, half of them are spam. Like you know, just like literally oh. just spam. Like hey, uh, whoever likes this is Bitcoin, like oh, you know, like just it's yeah. all spam. FX and I'm trader, like, follow me. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just like, but no, I do try and like stay in touch. Like there's a bunch of groups that like fan page groups. They literally have like. group chats on Instagram. So one or two of them, I like pop in and out just to see what they're saying. Mm. Do you ever respond to there? You're like, hey. I like, I like, like it. You know, I get scared of like replying. I'm like, oh, they're going to screenshot it. And then what if I say something wrong or. Yeah. Chris Fade has a very quirky way of dealing with them. Like he'll just respond to them with a lot of love. No. And that'll be like, oh no, you know, the troll will be like one second. I never expected a response from yeah. this personality. Uh, yeah. No, sometimes if it's like a hate comment or something, or if it's, 
like constructive hate, then I'll reply. If it's just mm -hmm. pure hate, like what do I say, you know? Yeah, that's But if cool. it's like. Oh, your content sucks. You should do this. I'm like, <laughs> actually, you're right. You know, they're like, wait, I am right. I'm like, yeah. No, well, Smashing oh, idea. You know, yeah. so, someone told me they were like, listen, your haters or your the people that criticize you is the best thing that can happen to you. You literally, you know how like let's say you have a company, you go and pay a consultant mm -hmm. to tell you your issues. Mm -hmm. Haters do that for free. So, literally, they're just like a free consultant. If they tell you, hey, love in Dubai. You know what? This news sucks. Go cover this news. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Thanks for that feedback, guys. You know, it's like it's like free consultation. Like, I don't need to go pay someone now. Like all you guys criticizing me are actually telling me what to do, so I probably should listen. You know. That's you never okay. get those though, but one day, you know. <laughs> like someone should tell you, like, go guys. Stop what making is this? typos. Good idea. Let's stop yeah. that. <laughs> And you know how many people want to do what you're doing? Yeah. Like you kind of you're in this job that looks amazing. Do you have any kind of advice? Like, it may not be YouTube. If like tick, putting people on TikTok, Instagram, what would you tell them? Something that might help them. Um, look, normally I always just say, do something you love. You're gonna be good at it. You're gonna, you know, the, the normal, you know, cliche answer. But recently, we actually did an interview with an interesting guy who was like, that's just rubbish. <laughs> you know, he was like, don't don't listen to. Oh, if you do what you love, you're gonna be the best at it. And he was saying to me like, oh, imagine like when you're a kid. What do you want to be? You want to be a superhero? You want to be, a, I don't know, an astronaut or something? You don't want to be like a, someone who's a tech developer, you mm -hmm. know? And those are the richest guys in the world, right? You don't <laughs> say, hey, I want to go and sit on a computer and code or something. Yeah. But um, look, no matter what it is, I just say be consistent at it. Um, I think fulfillment or like, you know, doing something and sticking to it and then that final when you reach that goal, that's kind of what makes you happy. So. Yeah, look, if you guys want to be big at TikTok and it's in your head, well, just stick to it. Find like a niche that you're kind of interested in, you know. Um, and I, I wouldn't say like, oh, it has to be the one thing you love, you know. Um, I mean, it helps if you if you do have something you love, go for it. But if you're just something that you kind of even have any interest off and you see others doing it, just stick to it, set a plan. And then once you do reach those goals, you will be happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to, we will get into your trade up. That's so interesting, your <coughs> yeah. new segment that you're starting. But before that, I want to ask like a lot of uh, vloggers and bloggers, like once they uh, get fame in Dubai, yeah. they settle abroad, they travel somewhere else. But what do you see in Dubai's market that made you stay? And what do you see in the future, like for Dubai? Uh, look, I've, uh, my whole life I've been in Dubai, you know, born and raised here. I went to London to study, obviously. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't know that about me. Like, My whole family been born and brought up in Dubai, raised in Dubai. Now we didn't move, so I didn't come back. But look, I love Dubai. Um, I'm so happy that I'm from here. You know, like the fact that like everything went up. Like when we were here back then, it was like nothing, right? It was like mm. sand. And now it's like, oh my God, you're from Dubai. I'm like, yes, so, you know, <laughs> yes, Jacko. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, Dubai is amazing. Um, I think you know, I'm going to be here for forever, pretty much. You know, I, I always do. Obviously, I travel to make content, but like this is like home, you know, so. Well, what do you see in the market? Like in Dubai, now we have the skyscrapers, we have the cars, but I have to say you must have, you have a big hand in putting Dubai on the map in terms yeah. of true. like so rich true. car, uh, luxury cars, luxury yeah. homes. So what's next? Estate, cars, automobile, like what's next? What's next? For Dubai, what do you think? What do you predict as a... Number one, Dubai's region, number one What blogger. does similar to start our TikToks on? Uh, <laughs> yes. I think now the houses are, are going crazy. I've seen like a lot of new projects on the Palm. Mm. I don't know. I think you guys must have covered a few like billionaires row or something, mm. you know. There's a lot of cool house projects coming. The thing is with Dubai, you never know what they're going to do next, you know. Like they always have a new project coming or something crazier. But um, yeah, houses is something I definitely think is going to... Metaverse, NFTs. Oh, look, Metaverse, <laughs> NFTs, that's all cool. But like, I don't know how, like, in terms of, I thought, like, YouTube and, like, actually showing something. Obviously, Metaverse, NFTs, it's all going to be in here, like, in this. VR, yeah. People won't need to come to Dubai anymore. They yeah. can just sit at home with their Exactly. Like, they can, they can join Dubai from another country, <laughs> you know? Um, but uh, speaking of um, things that we weren't expecting, uh, yesterday you dropped a video. Um 11 minute video trying to trade up from one dollar to a Bugatti. Yeah. Um, people are doing a lot of these trade up videos. Yeah. So, what spurred you on to do it too? Uh, I, I saw, I think it was a creator in the US. Um, I, forgot, I forgot the name, but I think he did it. And I was like, I want to do it. 
and my my dream car has always been a Bugatti. Obviously, I want a Bugatti. Everyone Duh. wants a Bugatti. Who doesn't want a Bugatti? Like, <laughs> uh, know what it is. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Um, I really don't. I don't want to. Like, not to say I don't have the money for a Bugatti, but I'd rather try and earn it from like a dollar. Earn it. Earn it. Trade it. Whatever. <laughs> but honestly, horrible Street idea stars. so far. Like, I just started. Honestly. I started this video a month ago. Really? Mm. That's what people don't know. I, I literally started this a month ago, and I did like the first two episodes, and I was like, okay, how do I get this to actually a Bugatti? Yeah. And then I, I wasn't even going to release it. I wasn't going to put out the video. I was like, you know what? This is this is literally impossible. There's no way I can reach a Bugatti from a dollar. And I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> I get from my dollar to a drone. Um, right now, I'm on a bit more than a drone, but I was like, uh -huh. really? I'm stuck. And the only reason I put the video out, my friend Ahmed, which is like always with me, he was like, bro, put out the video. And it's like just jumping into the deep end of the yeah. pool, you know? Yeah. You're going to have to find the way. Because if you don't put out the video, you're going to try and get closer. You're never really going to get anywhere. I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to put out the first episode. From here on out, guys, if you have anything, just please send me a message. Send a message to Love in Dubai. Help me, because I am <laughs> stuck right now. What value are you at now? So right now, I'm around like 5,000 dirhams. Tell which, us the timeline. Like how, what, what, are, what have the trade-ups been? Um, so yeah, right now, like the value is around 5,000 dirhams. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, because the episode is coming out, but it's... 5,000 dirhams. Five okay, so till, till now, what's been the trade-up? Uh, so I went from a dollar to like sunglasses okay. to... Yes. Mm -hmm. to an LED light. So I went from a dollar, sunglasses, LED light, and at the end of it, I'm on a drone right now. I would stop there. <laughs> Look, I, someone even gave me a really nice rock. It was actually... I saw uh, the rock. Nice. It was an amazing rock, right? It was like, <laughs> and by the way, the rock was more expensive than the drone, but oh. when you try and trade a rock, it's it's still a rock. It's like you a know? rock light that was a, a decorative piece. Yeah, it was like a decorative, crystally rock, and I like, you want a rock? And they were like, no. <laughs> I was like, give me like, Smart give me a scooter for a rock. They're like, no, why would I trade you my <laughs> scooter for a rock? But right now, I'm I'm stuck. Okay. It's it's like hard because five thousand, but a Bugatti is like four million dirhams. Okay. So I think I think the thing with trading is that it's um something that you need to put a lot of time into, and you need to find the right person. Yeah. So the right person, if you have, if you're looking for what you have, which or if is, you just have a Bugatti, you want to give it to me. I wouldn't I mind that. I feel like I was just going to say, I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised if you're like, I'm trading up and two days later you have someone giving you a Bugatti. Um, yeah, I'll happily take right? it. It's about <laughs> manifesting. Um, okay, before you leave yeah. us, can we play a little game with you? Yeah, sure. Um, it's called Mo Vlogs Reacts to Internet Comments. Okay. Huh. Um, All right, yeah, let's do this. We, we've seen other people play this game before and we want to play it with you. Okay, geez. We have picked, uh, we have picked out some yeah. nice comments here. <laughs> nice. It helps that nice. you never read your comments, no? Yeah, no, I don't read yeah. um, So with Mo Vlogs, you're reacting to Internet Comments. Take it from here, the first one. Okay, Who, whose name is this? Heart Makey. Um, can I be your sister? Um, she lives a good life. I mean, uh, yeah. I, I mean, hopefully yes. Unless you have some really like bad traits, just don't wake me up in the morning. Don't annoy me, and yeah, you can be my sister. Heart okay. Mackey, done. You heard it. Trade yeah. up. Um, chop. You guys have made these comments up. Who's Chop? Uh, <laughs> guys, this is this is set up. All right. <laughs> Chop says, Lana, <laughs> Lana is so beautiful, and no, I really like your sister a lot. <laughs> I just noticed every time I comment on her pic, she likes it. I think she's the one for me. Whoa. <laughs> Chop. Does she actually like you? I, I hope she does, but um, <laughs> Chop, listen, my sister is single, so, you know. Question. Send, yeah. Does your team handle your Instagram and hers, or like you guys handle it yourselves? I try to handle it myself, you know. So sometimes, like, I, I'm really bad at DMs, so I just let them, like, go through everything sometimes, just, like, okay. reply, especially if it's more like the business stuff. Like, mm. there's a lot of DMs, but so no. Your team is onto something. Yeah, I mean, maybe your team's just, like, trying to get, like, likes. <laughs> no, but honestly, I, Lana, no, actually, Lana doesn't let anyone touch her Instagram. Oh. My sister doesn't, like, I do, but she's a bit more picky. Okay, that's All the right. one. Shin Views. I'm so fed up of his staged vlogs. Oof. Ouch. Ouch. I mean, I am too, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's a vlog. You know, I tell people it's like, 
it's kind of like, you know, when you see a movie, so you kind of have to act it out in a sense, you know, like, imagine if I'm just quiet on my vlogs, I have to put a bit of energy in there, you know, hey, guys, it's a camera, like, you don't turn off, a, you don't turn on a camera and you don't know you're recording, like, you know, there's a camera in front of you, so, if these cameras weren't here, we wouldn't talk the same, you know, yeah. Yeah. it's like, yo, how was your day, all right, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever, <laughs> so, chill, a lot of people have copied your vlogging style also, yeah, especially my thumbnails, like, True. when I started my thumbnails, like that, and the mouth open, like, yeah. oh my god, every, like, then I saw every single person on YouTube was just like, I was like, <laughs> I did that, <laughs> I did that, <laughs> but yeah, all right, last one, Neha Gaming, this is a long one, one of the best things about Dude is that he never takes credit for himself when he achieves something, he always respects us, the audience, and his team, and he's always polite in all of his videos, right. we congratulate ourselves on this achievement to come on everything. Aww. Oh, Neha, Dude. thank you. You see the one nice comment I get. That's the one we made There up. is actually, honestly, there is so many strong ones like that, that people are just like, we love your consistency. We've been watching from the start. Yeah? Yeah. You see, Neha, we need more people like you. But honestly, the crazy thing is, like, I love you, Neha, but, like, this is normally the spam comments I get. Like, I swear there's, like, a bot that writes something similar. Uh, so I hope this is a nice comment. No, no, it's not. We made that up. Oh. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> of course we didn't. No, we didn't. The one nice comment, they had to fake it. No, she, she said we made all of them. Of course we didn't. No, we're oh, kidding. All of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, definitely read the I, Can I Be Your Sister. That, that is not a comment. I promise you, check YouTube. Hi, Maki, is it a count? No, no, we're kidding. It's unlegitimate. Guys, this is just... I actually made sure it was like, uh, it was like a Porky <laughs> Chop or something, but I just... Porky read, Chop. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we had YouTube names. Oh um, that is Mo Vlogs Reacts to Internet Comments. Yeah. Mo, it's been an absolute pleasure. What is your full name? We call you uh, Mo Vlogs. Mm. Mr. Vlogs? Mr. Mo? Yeah, I'd, I'd say Mo Vlogs. It, what it, is the full name? Mohammed Barak Dari. And what your friends called you? Everyone's like, Mo Vlogs it is. And your friends called you Mo? Yeah, everyone calls me Mo. Not even like, honestly, they don't even say Mo, they say Mo. Pet Mo. names? Moe? Mojo? Uh, no, 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 not Mojo. But remember that? What was that? Mojo Jojo? Remember mm. that cartoon? No. Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls, yeah. Mojo Jojo. <gasps> Can you see? Oh my like goodness. You guys need to, you know, revamp the whole. <laughs> <laughs> revamp the whole. To grow up Just, on Cartoon Network. <laughs> you need to know cartoons. Oh uh, yeah, but Mo. Mo. And your family call you Mo. Yeah, everyone calls you Mo. We're going to call you Mo. Uh, guys, that uh, is Mo Vlogs on the Love and Dubai show. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, thank thank you so you. much for joining us. Thank you so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye-bye. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>